SLCS is a we're a non-profit um, Zambian registered society, and we um, we have an agreement with the Zambia Wildlife Authority to to be here, um, which gives us the mandate to support village scouts and law enforcement activities in South Luangwa. Basically, with regards to to elephants and um, the elephant the issue of elephant poaching. Our role, I suppose, is specifically to support village scouts, village scout anti-poaching activities um, in relation to, to elephant poaching. So we spend, our scouts spend an enormous amount of time in the field doing patrols, um, apprehending elephant poachers, things like that. As SROCS South Longo Conservation Society, we are helping Zambia Wildlife Authority in combating anti-poaching, removing snares and helping in the mitigation of the human animal conflict, so that is the elephants, because that's the biggest problem that we have in the community here. There's been a huge increase in elephant poaching. We're probably 50%, we've probably increased 50% in the, in the mortalities. We're up to, this year, we're up to so far about 80, 80 odd elephants that we know that have been poached. In any, any protected area, you can always at least double that in terms of carcasses that you haven't found. Um, so this year it's on the increase for, for varying, varying different reasons, but um, we do have a big problem at the moment. Snaring is, is our biggest problem in the South Rwangwa and its game management areas. Because when these poachers are setting these snares, they don't set them for elephants. Definitely they set them for um, buffaloes and these little antropes. And from the size of the, the snaring, the setting of the snares, the animals that ends up being victims are the baby elephants and the ones that see near is on the neck or the head of the baby elephant. It's a big problem for you to locate it, for you to find it and to have it darted and have the snares removed. It takes a lot of time and it, 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 it needs a lot of dedicated people to do such a thing. If I've received training, I've done the three courses. Um, one in South Africa, it's a basically chemical immobilization course for wildlife. The next one in Zimbabwe, which is probably the best in the world, and then a refresher again in Zimbabwe. But to be honest, you know, you learn everything from the book, but everything we do today is like 90% is from the field. You, you just learn it through experience. There's nothing, you know, on a course, they, they can't teach you how to, how to deal with a whole herd of elephants. You can learn the sort of biological side but you, you you can't learn the rest unless you're out in the field doing it There's, it's not a it's not a one person show you need a whole team of pretty um, pretty impressive people dedicated people and I think we've certainly got that but with all this darting and wildlife rescue and immobilization we've grown we've grown together as a team from day one and it's just it's something we've 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 worked on together for the last for the last seven years and we've learned together sort of on the job. It's a, it's a fantastic team. It's definitely something I can't do on my own. I need, I need these guys around and they're extremely dedicated. Good guys. We need to know the elephants. We need to teach the people on these animals, not only the elephants and these other species, on how we can live with them. If we don't know, if we don't give the community details on these animals, then the problems will continue.